Hello everyone, Leslie Ann here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new to my channel. Today's video is it's a bit of a mainly a crafting supply video. Um, so we nipped out, we went to Poundland, I did get a couple of bits in Poundland. Um, I did get a top, I've got it here, yeah, I've got a top in a charity shop. Um, and then we went to the range and I got um, some new sort of draw, content plastic draw thingies for my crafting. So I'm gonna decant my crafting stuff that's in this white wicker thing here that you've probably seen in the past. Um, and sort it out into these two new containers here. Um, so I've got a four drawer and a three drawer. Uh, let me just show you. Right, so this one's the four drawer one. So these are from the range. And that's the three drawer. That's other shopping I've got to show you. And that's Teddy Bear. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got these. So this is what I'm sort of currently using it is in a bit of a state at the moment things hanging out of it because i am sort of actually crafting at the moment so um dead and smell that there's treats in there <laughs> so that is going to be all sorted out and i'll rearrange it all and put it into into these but for the crafting stuff i picked up today which is purely for junk journaling um, I'm just going to put it straight into one of these drawers just so that I know where it is so that when I sort it out I know where everything is if you, if you know what I mean I know what I mean right so these two together were I could have had two three I could have had two four but we're going to stand one on top of the other they did them in pink and grey, but these are going to stand like in a little cubby hole under the stairs in the hallway. So the hallway is grey, so it's going to obviously stuck to grey. Um, one is going to stand, the three is going to stand on top of the four, and so that's plenty. Uh, and I think together they were £39 for the two. Right, so I nipped into the charity shop first. What's it you're seeing how that's the uh, fireplace? Sorry guys, but I've got you rested on the fireplace. Went into the charity shop first. Um, and this was the, was it the PDSA? I think it was PDSA. And saw this little top for four pounds. So got it. Um, it is from, I don't know if it says where it's from actually. Oh, it was the RSPCA shop, and this is a little dress from the studio. There we go. Um, I use it as like a little bit of a tunic. It's too short for a dress, and it's too sort of long as a top, you know, but it'd be fine over, you know, whatever bottoms you want to wear or leggings. Um, but it's just like this. It's a little cold shoulder dress. It's got the little straps, and it has got the little buckle here that you can adjust the length. And then your arm go through, like through there, like that. That would be up on your shoulder. And I just thought it was really pretty. Nice little ruffle here, front and back. And I just thought the, the colours were really, really summery. Um, and that was four pounds in the charity shop. So when I came out of the charity shop, um, Chris had nipped up to the bank while I went in, well, I said, I'll meet you in Poundland. Um, but then of course I nipped into the charity shop. He'd already been, walked up the high street, been to the bank, walked all the way back, gone to Poundland, I wasn't there. And he saw me as I was walking out of the charity shop, you know. And I said, oh, this bag. I said, this bag's all sticky, it's all sticky. It was like, no. That's blood. You know, where's the blood come from? And I looked down, you know, I cut my fingers yesterday on the, on a knife. Well, this one here, it was just all over my hand. I don't know why it started bleeding. I must have caught it, I guess. So um, we quickly, I sort of wiped it up, had a bit of tissue holding against it, nipped into Poundland so we could pick up some new plasters and some wipes so that I could, you know, wipe my hand and put some plasters on. Uh, so I'll show you what I got in Poundland. This little bag, incidentally, is from Timu. 
love it. I'm going to definitely get some more of these. I really, really like it. Um, I'll pop the little link to Timu down below in the um, description box. Just click where it says more. And I've got a little link there uh, to take you through to Timu if you're interested. Right, so these are the plasters. So I did go with the Elastoplast ones. Um, Chris had a couple of plasters in his like man crossbody bag, but they were like the cheaper ones and they were just awful. Couldn't even open them. So I said, no, let's just get the Elastoplast ones. So got those, I think they were a pound. These wipes, they're baby wipes. And I'll just keep them here for when Hetty's here. But there's 60 here and uh, fragrance free. They're the Disney ones, Disney Baby, they were 75p actually. That was a bit of a bargain. I did pick up two lots of dog treats, um, some they've already had, and then these little nugget wild boar flavour things that they like, low in fat. That's what Teddy was uh, sniffing out just now. I uh, saw, this, saw this washi tape in there. Um, it's got like leaves and flowers and very, very pretty. So that's the, that's the washi tape. Some tracing paper. I don't have any tracing paper at all. And I thought I would get this because then I can just sort of copy, you know, designs from something else and uh, use it in the junk journaling. Oh, I've got these, the Dreamies. Two packs of Dreamies. So these are the tuna flavour and the chicken flavour. My dogs actually like these. Um, I think you can actually get Dreamies for dogs now, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I got these. These are a pound a pack. And I just fill them into a little jar, mix them up, and they have a few of these at night time. So these are their night night biscuits. Um, and I think the last thing then, yeah, that I got in a uh, pound land, again, is for like junk journaling. And they're just the little, um, the little mini, the little mini pegs. Uh, there you go. So that was everything I got, charity shop, a pound land. So then, of course, I went to the range and got these two containers. And then I'm just going to put everything into one drawer so that then I can sort it out. I'm just going to take this little label off. Hopefully it's one of those that isn't too difficult to get off. How are you all? You all okay? What have you been up to? Anything, you know, exciting? Or have you been away on a holiday? I can't wait. I'll keep looking at holidays. I'm desperate to book a holiday. But obviously the things as they are, me at the moment, can't do it. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the floor so that as I like unload the bag, um, I can just put things straight in there. Then I, I haven't got it all over the place. I spent a fair old bit on crafting. In actual fact, I mean, I've spent more than this on crafting in the past, but not in one go. I think I've spent about, it's not all crafting actually, there are a couple of home bits here. Uh, there are a couple of home bits here, but um, all in all, what well, everything that's in this bag came to, I think, 40 something. I actually thought there was going to be more, but um, came to 43.85. So it was a fair old bit, but I've got enough now to keep me going for a long, long time to do what I want to do. Okay, so I got one of these. So this is the A4 cutting ruler. So I thought I really need this for like when you're doing um, sort of junk journaling or scrapbooking. I'm one of those, unless I've got a line to follow, if I'm cutting something out, I never go straight. It always goes off, you know, one way or the other. Then I try to straighten it up and then by the time I finish, something that should be that wide is like that wide. <laughs> so I thought I'd get this. Actually, I can refer to the receipt, can't I? for the prices. Um, so this was uh, £5.99, which I didn't think was bad at all. 
really. It's $5.99. This one is called Plant Lover. I think this was $2.99. Let's have a look. No, £3.29 for this one. Um, and it's obviously it's got all the different cards in. Oh, I can just take this off now, can't I? Tick. So this one is called Plant Lover. Um, you can actually turn some of these into pictures if you wanted to and put them into frames because they are really beautiful. And then you've, yeah, you've got all the different ones. Let me see if I can find. So there's two of those or three of those. Then it, this one says Plant Lover. You've got Hanging These, Plants Make Me Happy. So all these other little ones that you can, you know, cut up. And that's in like... um. An army green and white polka dot. Oh, this this one. And then you've got this one. That one. So it's the vintage floral decoupage paper. I tend, if I'm doing any decoupage, I tend to use napkins. But I saw this and thought. That is really, really pretty. So that was, and that was a pound, which I thought was really, really good. And then I saw this, this was a pound as well. And it's kind of, this again is decoupage paper, but it's like sort of newspaper and it's got a clock. So you can see here on the back, look, that is what it, like the whole thing looks like. But of course you've got it in your bits that you can cut out, look. As a pound. Then I saw this one. So this is paper block. You've got 20 printed sheets with foil. Um, and they are, they're almost like sort of tea stained, coffee stained. So if you didn't want to use the pattern side, you could just use the plain to give it that really sort of vintagey feel to it. We've got summer stars. And then some of like little squiggles. Um, design with foil, £2.99 for that one. Right, then I've got this one. Um, so this is Love Florals. I think this was £2.29, I think, or £2.99. Right, okay, this one oh, was £3.29. And it's got all the different... So it's got that one. So you've got a dark one there with like a like a marble in it, and then you've got sort of a burgundy one with a nice sort of pink flower flowery one. Uh, but basically, they're all you have got a page like this. You could cut these out if you wanted to. But uh, I just thought it's so so pretty for the money. And there's an awful lot you can do with this, this particular type of um, little book. And then that's got lots of little sayings on it. That one. Yes, yeah, so I thought that one was really, really, really pretty. So get a lot of use out of that one. Oh, this I got for the home. This was three ninety nine, um, and it's one of their candles, which are very, very good. And this is in caramel pecan. Um, they have got so much Halloween stuff, so much, and pumpkin stuff galore. I am trying not to buy any more sort of pumpkin style stuff this year. I don't need to. I have enough. So, yeah, I was very tempted by two things, but I'm not, I don't, no, I'm not, I'm not going to buy them. But this smells lovely. I don't mind buying candles. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Oh, that smells delightful. I did get some tea lights in there as well. These burn up to eight, um, these burn up to eight hours. And they're the sweet almond and vanilla fragrance. So for the old tea lights, you know, the old burners. <laughs> I'll show you these now because then that's the last of it. Um, so I got these wax melts. And so toffee apple 
and pumpkin spice latte for those two. Oh, I'll tell you how much they were. A pound each for the uh, the little wax melts. Uh, the tea lights were £2.79. And I picked up these. So these are the Bostick glue dots. They were £1.79 for the little glue dots. And then I saw these. I was going to go for the Bostick ones, but uh, I saw these. So you've got one, two, three, we've got six in there. And these were uh, £1.29 for six of those glue sticks. Uh, this little colouring book I thought was really cute. It's got 40 sheets. And this was £1.90. And I thought I'd use this in um, the junk journaling as well. So you could sort of like put a couple of pages, you know, into your junk journal. Especially if you know that whoever you're giving it to likes colouring in as well. And so you've got all these nice little designs to colour in. And then, of course, the ones that you don't put in your junk journal, you've got to colour yourself. Um, I bought these two ribbons. These were 50p each. Um, they were just in the clearance, so I thought I'd just get them. Um, one of them just says, Bundle of Joy. And the other one says, um, it's got hugs and kisses, you know. So I thought I'd get those. I've got some more of these little craft pegs, the little mini ones. I think these are slightly bigger than the ones I got in Poundland, and these are in the gold and sort of silver colour. They were a pound. These tags were 89p. Uh, these washi tapes were £1.50 per tube. So this one's got like all the different greens or botan botanical sort of designs on, and this one's more marbly. You got six in each of those. These were a pound each, so you've got a box, double-sided tape and pads. Um, and I just thought for a pound each, that was a real bargain. I've got some more embellishment things. So I've got some of the, uh, the metallic letters, the little tiles that you can stick on, 150 in each, so I went for gold and for silver. Two things left, um, this was a pound, so this is a quilling needle tool, so I thought that was a, a good price. And then last but not least, these are crystals actually, and they are some, some nails that you needed for something or other, some tacks, you know, nails, what are they? They nails, yeah, clout nails. It says they were, if you're interested, 250 grams of 20 millimeter clout nails were £1.85. And that's it, my lovely. So, everything that I got, it was a fair old bit, wasn't it? It's going to keep me going for absolutely ages with my crafting. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you started to have you ever done it before because you know I'm really new to it but thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it as I've said if you have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up uh, it really helps my channel out with YouTube and of course if you haven't already subscribed I'd be absolutely delighted if you would subscribe to my channel for more updates on everything as my channel is a lifestyle channel uh, take care everyone see you in the next one Till then, bye-bye.